I'm here, Flip Anything USA. So on my blog, I show you how I made my fortune in real estate, starting at 19 years old, millionaire by 28. Been doing it a long time, and, and that's been a long time ago since I made my first million. Uh, anyways, I wrote a book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. It's been a bestseller on Amazon and Kindle. Today we're gonna to talk about Grant Cardone. Uh, he just released a video talking about releasing $6.3 million. Uh, I've made some videos a little bit critical of, of Grant in the past. I think he's I think he's a real talented salesman, and I think he's got some things to offer in teaching people maybe to you know to, to be good salesmen, uh, just just because he he is a good salesman. Um, but uh, you know this lately this this year since COVID that's when I took notice of him, and man I've been totally unimpressed. You know I I really didn't look at the guy closely until. Uh, until he kind of started coming apart at the seams, or, or it would seem. And uh, but anyways, so uh, anyhow, let's take a look at this latest video together. Hey, uh, for all of you out there that uh, have been looking at real estate right now and reading the headlines and looking at Cardone Capital, thinking about investing with me, we, uh, as you might know, we suspended distributions. I know a lot of the haters know about this. Uh, we just suspended uh, distributions uh, in March when the pandemic, or April, when the pandemic started. So he's referencing when uh, in the quarantine and people, you know, self-quarantining, uh, that they suspended distributions, uh, keep the cash flow up uh, because they didn't know what was going to happen. And, you know, I think he probably got some flack for that or got criticized for that, but I never criticized him for that ever. Uh, in fact, it's a prudent thing to do. I can tell you myself, you know, I own over 120,000 square feet of rentals myself, sometimes more, because you know, I roll property regularly, I sell. But uh, first thing I did was, you know, I locked things down and cut the spending, and it's just a prudent thing to do. So I've never been critical of, of him for that. Uh, he says, but he says, you know, the haters, the haters know that, and that's probably true, but I can tell you, I don't think that was any reason to hate on him, but I mean, I think there's other reasons people may, may dislike some of the things he's done, but uh, that isn't one of them. Uh, as a frugal, very conservative uh, fiduciary responsibility, make sure we keep our properties, take care of our tenants, continue to reinvest in our assets, our physical assets, um, until at which time we had some kind of certainty about what was going on with the economy. So you hear that? So. He's letting you know that he held on to cash, he kept it in the bank, right, until there was certainty. So there was some security in hanging on to that cash. But what does he tell you about cash and keeping it in the bank? If you got cash in the bank and think that the cash in the bank is your security, you're freaking hallucinating. It is not security. You need cash flow. Yesterday, I approved $6.3 million in distributions to our investors. That is $6.3 million. A $6.3 million disbursement. Uh, now, what he didn't do is he didn't really get into any details. He rarely does. But uh, that $6.3 million, you know, last time he said he just had a $2 million disbursement, and he got $800,000 of that. Oh. We distributed $2 million to our investors last month. $800,000 of that went to me last month. Okay, so when he says he dispersed 6.3 million, does that mean he got 2.5 million of that amount? Uh, just asking, you know, he, he, he's the one who brought it up like it's a big deal. So uh, relatively speaking, like I said, 6.3 million is only one, one and a half percent roughly of the 400 million he's taken in. And, uh, you know, and if, you, if he's got taken 40% of that, then it's even less significant, right? So anyhow. Okay. Look, invest in great assets. Find great assets. It will take care of you and your family forever. Take care of those assets. Make sure you take care of those assets. Make sure you have capital set aside to fund the property, fund the taxes, fund the debt, and to fund the improvement of the property. In addition to uh, the six point three million dollars. In addition to uh, the six point three million dollars we distributed, I think we have three point six million. Another three point six million sit sitting aside for operations. Don't hold me to that number. I think that's uh, accurate. Uh, and for you guys that are investors, if you want to call my office, you can. here's why I don't want to call his office. It's the stupid things that he's said in the past. On the rumors of my bankruptcy that is soon to happen, yes, it's true. Find out exactly what that number is. We're completely transparent. And then there's another 22 million. That's right, 22 million dollars. 
think 22,690, 22,690,000 sitting for cap X across the properties. So this is great news for our investors, great news for Cardone Capital. We've raised almost $400 million. Uh, we have eight, almost 8,000 units. Uh, the fund that we have right now is closed. Uh, I think it's filled up as of yesterday uh, at, at our investor meeting. We sent out some checks that were as high as $85,000 yesterday, some checks that were uh, 400 bucks. The thing that it's the details that, that nobody ever gets. Uh, so let's say the $400. Uh, so how many thousands did it take to create 400 bucks? You know, uh, it's a good question. You know, that's the information an investor would want to know is, you know, what is that 400 represent? What's the return? What's the return grant? So uh, if you're playing the game, if you're playing the real estate game, my advice to you, for whatever it's worth, I've been doing this thing for 35 years. I've been buying real estate for 35 years. Uh, the life I have today is because of the real estate I own. I mean, I work hard in my other businesses, but the real estate just takes care of you all the time when you're sleeping, it pays you. If you're buying good real estate, good real estate in great locations, I just finished working out. Um, good real estate in great locations that is not over leveraged, don't over leverage your property. Pick great locations. Better to pay a higher price, okay, and a lower cap rate. So look, I, I agree with what he just said. Buy great properties, buy great assets, great locations. All that stuff is great. But the part that's no good for the little guy is the low cap rate, the low return. The low return doesn't serve you well at all. You're not gonna make any money making 6%. If you only, you know, thing is when you got 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, those amounts of money, you can double. You can actually buy a lot for 10 grand, sell it for 20. You can operate with small deals, and that's what I teach you to do, and, and wake up and smell the real estate. But if you throw your money into a big fund, I mean, it's tied up, you don't have any control. And, and you know what he says about you know, when people want to pull their money back out, we, we've heard some other video about that. If that's you and you got a good attitude and you ain't a little bitch, you ain't a little baby, you ain't cry baby, you ain't stupid baby, you ain't dumb dumb. You know, I, gotta, I need my money, I gotta buy a Rolex. And get a good location. I'm telling you, man, 50 feet can make a difference in your rents, it can make a difference in, in your operations, it can make a difference in your traffic, your foot traffic, it can reduce your advertising bill, uh, it can increase your renewals, literally like, the location of your property can change the cost of operations, the cost of advertising, uh, the amount of renewals that you get at the property. So whether you want to do this on your own or I can help you, uh, we're doing a mastermind in July, two-day mastermind for serious, serious real estate investors. It's, uh, I think it's at my website, grantcardone.com forward slash RE mastermind. You want to come spend two days, bring your deals with you. I'll underwrite them for you. I'll help you get debt on them. I'll help you find investors for them if you want to do that. If you want to invest with me, the website's cardonecapital.com. Uh, we're getting ready to open up a new fund. It's called an opportunity fund. This is for higher risk because of what's going on in the marketplace. I'm looking for deals that maybe have a lower occupancy right now, carry a little more risk with it, but I think the returns will be even better long term. So this is going to be for accredited only and maybe a handful of select non uh, unaccredited, but I got to figure that out from a legal standpoint, uh, how to set that up. Uh, we've allowed accredited and non-accredited in the past. I did the non-accredited. A lot of people ask, why are you letting little guys in? Okay, well, a guy that makes $190,000 a year and has been for the last five years, but never cracked 200 and doesn't have a million dollars worth of assets yet, that is considered by the SEC a little guy, which I don't consider that to be a little guy at all, okay? I opened up the funds to non-accredited because I have family members that could not invest in my fund. I have employees that don't make enough money to invest in my fund, but I know that if they invest with me long-term and stick and stay, they're investments. So here's the deal. If you're a little guy, and believe me, I was a little guy too, and I, I don't like his fund for the little guy. I don't. And the reason I don't is for reasons I stated. I think the little guy has smaller chunks of money that, that can be doubled. He can do much better on his own in a small amount. But that being said, you know what? Call Cardone Capital. He, like he said, they're 100% transparent. Got no reason to not believe him. Could end up making them accredited investors before their incomes would. 
So that's why I did it. I did it because I started as a little guy. Everybody starts as a little guy, folks. Okay, it's, it's ridiculous. Oh, Grant Cardone's taking money from the little guy. Uh, Find out what you're going to get. What's your return? When? what if you need your money back? Okay, that's another thing. What if you need to pull your money out? You know, because remember this clip? Yeah, I, gotta, I need my money. I got to buy a Rolex. I'm a little guy, too. I was a little guy. I started as a little guy. Everybody starts as a little guy. Mark, Warren, Jeff, all little guys. All little guys. All little guys. So, put on capital. Uh, $6.3 million dollars in distribution. Take a lot of money. So, you'll either get your wire or you'll get your, your ACH or you'll get your check. I got a handful of just doing checks. So, we'll send that out $6.3 million. And in July, uh, we'll send that to June. And then August, hopefully, we'll send that to July. Everything's cool. We're going and we're rocking and we're rolling. So, um, find great properties. If you buy them on your own, find great properties. If you're investing with somebody, make sure the guy you're investing with and the guy you're company you're investing with, make sure you have access to them. Make sure they get on a call with you. Like, we did a one hour Zoom call with our investors yesterday. They asked me questions, went over what they wanted to know. Um, asked me about everything from tax write offs, depreciation, to depreciation, to uh, what I thought about the future, to other possibilities and opportunities, etc. So make sure that the person that you're investing with you have access to, uh, we pay out every month. We do cash distributions on a monthly basis. We pay 6% target, target properties. They can do 6% annualized and get a 15%, get a 15% uh, uh, internal rate of return. Now, in the future, we're going to be looking at deals that get to 15 to 18, but don't maybe have the cash flow um, component. Anyway, I'd love to have you involved with us if that works. If not, look, remember this. Okay, watch the location. If you like this video and you want other real estate videos, I do a real estate video every Monday, a show where I take calls. If you want access to that, make sure you turn the bell on. Uh, comment below. Oh, my God. 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 Oh my God, Grant Cardone paid out $6.3 million. Send this to the haters, all right? Send this to all the punks out there, all the punks out there trying to say, I'm gonna go bankrupt. So to all the punks that said he was going bankrupt, well, guess who the number one punk is? Grant. He's the one who said it first, remember? Watch this. On the rumors of my bankruptcy that is soon to happen, yes, it's true. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm over leveraged. I'm losing the plane, the condo, all the apartments, 8,000 units, okay? All of it's going back to the bank. All these guys saying all this bullshit. If you know a good bankruptcy lawyer that can protect me from going to prison, send me a You got to drop bad news to get anybody to pay attention to you. Okay, $6.3 million. We're on track this year to send out $25 million in cash to our investors, 25 million in cash. All these punks doing videos. Not just about me, but about, about anybody that's uh, excelling, an exceptional person in their field. Look, I don't hate Grant. I've only uh, done a couple videos and reported on the, 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 the videos that he's made. I mean, he's the one who said he was bankrupt, uh, you know, and I just believed him. You know, I took him at his word that he, I believed him, that he was going bankrupt. And then, uh, and then, of course, you know, he refers people as being haters that happen to believe what he said. If you want to get people to talk about you, Give them some bad news. You punks that are making videos about everybody, in your lifetime, you will not send out as much money. In your lifetime, you will not see as much money as I sent out, I approved to send out Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Money talks and haters, shit, they don't do anything. God bless you guys, be great, comment below. I just think about whatever, the 3,200 people that you supposedly have invested in your fund, uh, how do you think they felt hearing that you're gone bankrupt? That, that you told them. You walked, looked at the camera and said it. On the rumors of my bankruptcy that is soon to happen, yes, it's true. I mean, you probably shook people to the core, probably scared the hell out of them, that they were going to lose their nest egg that they entrusted you with. And that's how you treat them. You just like no respect. It's like no respect for your, your investors when you, when you do something like that. And that's on you. You, you created that yourself. What a beautiful day. Like that video, you must have if you got this far. Flip Anything USA, here's my book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. Please hit subscribe, hit the like button, it helps the channel. Thank you.